Good morning, and uh, thank you to the organizers for allowing me the opportunity to uh, update you on Inovia. Uh, Inovia is a publicly traded uh, company under the ticker symbol EYEN, uh, with all the associated disclosures, which I'm sure everybody reads very carefully. And I'm here to uh, really give you an update. We presented a technology last year. If I can advance that, okay, perfect. Um, and um, Inovia is a biopharmaceutical company in the ophthalmic space. And we're building, we're really busy, the whole team of 30 people, building uh, probably one of the most robust pipelines, late stage pi pipelines in ophthalmology, with a number of exciting programs. Uh, our top program with, in terms of unmet need and, and I think breakthrough status is the Micropine program, which is the uh, microdose uh, atropine for progressive myopia. And this is for the tens of millions of uh, young adults and children who continue to be on the myopia sliding scale, which currently is an epidemic, with a lot of them progressing from minus 2, minus 5, some of them minus 10, minus 15, towards very significant potential complications down the road. So this is an interesting, exciting pharmaceutical approach to slow down that disease. The other one is microprost, and microprost is a microdosed uh, latanoprost, and that is for uh, the glaucoma indication. And we're studying that in a much broader population than before, both chronic angle closure, open angle glaucoma, and ocular hypertension. And that's for the millions of patients who today have a hard time administering eye drops, and not to mention the difficulty of compliance in polypharmacy, which with this electronic delivery, we can change. The third one is Microstat, and again, it's a smaller pharmaceutical program, but we're very excited because it's a huge unmet need. This is for midriasis that happens 80 million times every year, where patients are subjected to double overdose of both phenylephrine and tropicamide, and we've developed a piezo formulation of a fixed combination phenylephrine uh, and tropicamide for a simple microdose application that eliminates almost 90% of the exposure to preservative and drug to the ocular surface in these daily routine examinations. So I think, and we've heard a lot of talks about eyedroppers and how we can improve them, I think it's time to move on. Uh, it's been almost 100 years, and we don't make phone calls using a switchboard operator. We don't make phone calls using a rotary phone anymore, yet we're still delivering eyedrops with the hope that a gravity-driven system will land an eye drop on your cornea. And we know that 50% of the time that doesn't happen. You can see on the right, uh, this is a patient who received in the left eye microdo uh, a regular eyedropper of a glaucoma, potent glaucoma drug, and you can see the hyperemia. On the right, we gave that same drug in microdose, and you can see one hour later there is absolutely no hyperemia. Yet the pressure dropped in the same level. So this is where we need to go to keep the efficacy of these great therapies that we have, yet improve that tolerability. So how do we do that at Inovia? Well, you know how they say, honey, I shrunk the kids? Well, we shrunk the inkjet printer. And so we were able to reduce the piezo ejection components and the piezo injection mechanism of the same printer that delivers micro droplets and a jet to do a single pixel of ink, we can do the same thing by delivering micro droplets for gentle application to the ocular surface that goes directly to the cornea, not to the conjunctiva. It eliminates almost 80% of the overdose because your ocular surface can hold about six to eight microliters versus the eyedroppers which deliver 30 to 40. And also, we found out in some of our clinical studies that 90% of patients can actually do that after two minute instruction. And we know with eyedroppers, half of them of the chronic use patients still have trouble administering eye drops. So at Inovio, we've been growing our clinical experience. We have now five late stage clinical studies, three phase twos that were positive, and more recently, we reported the phase three trials for midriasis, the missed one and missed three, uh, two phase three studies. And you know, we were very excited to show some very important things about microdose. Number one, we can actually reduce the amount of drug in the blood by giving a microdose, and we showed that in one of our phase two studies. Number two, we can have a very profound biologic effect. We can reduce intraocular pressure with microdose. We can open up your pupil, which is the most sensitive pharmacodynamic marker, with about 80% less drug. So we're excited, and we're forging forward into new indications. 
One indication that we think is really in the sweet spot of this technology is progressive myopia. It affects about 9% of the population in the US, much more in Asia. We know that's an epidemic. And uh, great work by collaborative study groups has shown that uh, if we give atropine, an old and relatively dirty drug, in small quantities, we can actually slow that disease down by 60 70%. That's a huge therapeutic effect. So it's really perfect for the microdosing uh, targeted delivery technology because you know kids are not gonna be as accepting to an eyedropper, knowing it from my own sons. And so we have the phase three trial, which we launched earlier this year, and that's uh, the chaperone study. It's a randomized control study for the registration of our micropin product, which is the microdose atropine. And uh, the study is enrolling and we hope in the coming years we'll be able to report uh, data and, and hopefully a product that would meet all of the criteria. The it will be that simple. Iovia. Kids can have it right next to their uh, toothbrush and they can really press a button and gently deliver the microdose to their eye, sparing 80 to 90% of the preservative and the API. And last but not least, we wanna take care of everybody, not just myopia, but also the other spectrum, presbyopia, people like myself, people like many of us. And pilocarpine is another great drug that is waiting for reinvention. And removing the hardware associated with presbyopia and replacing it with pharmacologic options, wherefore, with a single spray, you can deliver three or four hours of independence for near vision. So we've been very lucky in our program and we're preparing to launch the phase three study because pilocarpine can be one of those indications that's also perfectly suited for microdosing. Thank you very much.